Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany, and I'm here with Uta Albert to talk about OpenStack and why is OpenStack important to HP? That is a good question. So as part of our converged cloud strategy, we want to leverage OpenStack to deliver an open API that we really can take advantage of our promise to deliver really a hybrid cloud environment. And hybrid means really that we can connect private with managed with public cloud in a real seamless way. And the key is you need for that an open API basis that allows that, you know, a lot of service providers and customers can take advantage of, which enables the easier integration, which really enables the mobility and the portability. The other side effect is also because it's OpenStack based, there's a huge community around it, which writes to it. So it will also accelerate the development in the, in the cloud uh, environment that customers can take advantage of this broad ecosystem. So therefore we endorse in our announcement actually today OpenStack and have multiple news in that space. So you have um, two specific things that I think uh, are worth calling out. Um, KVM support uh, that, that is based on OpenStack if I understand correctly and then also um, the uh, controlled bursting and can you speak to both of those a little bit? Oh absolutely so we actually broaden our heterogeneous environment of cloud system by adding KVM as you mentioned specifically we will support the other Red Hat KVM version and we have actually underlying embedded how we implemented the OpenStack technology and there uh, if you're familiar with OpenStack there are different um, projects they are working on for the compute modu module uh, we use Nova then there's like an authentication mo module called Keystone and for VM imaging we use uh, Glance. From a customer experience perspective when you use cloud system it's really seamless. It's just really the technology how it's implemented to do the infrastructure as a service. So if you have already a cloud system today running VMware or leveraging Hyper-V or Integrity VM you can just seamlessly add KVM resource pools just the underlying techniques or the guts underneath happen to be uh, OpenStack and that's kind of our first step in the direction to, to move to an OpenStack architecture. And you mentioned the, the second announcement in that space, in the bursting space. Um, everybody who will in future buy a cloud system will get also an OpenStack based connector. Uh, and what that allows that service providers can write to it and at maybe their additional value they want to integrate if they are specialized on security or others depending on what their business model is they can customize it and then they can be a target from a enterprise to burst to so we define bursting kind of like in the broadest sense so just adding capacity off premise to your um, environment so we hope we create with that a large service provider community that they are themselves can write to these OpenStack based connectors that we have you know broad service pro provider community this is if you already have like a, a cloud system uh, deployment in your in your data center and you, you need more capacity for a specific compute job uh, that you would that you would then be able to use one of these OpenStack connected uh, service service providers. Um, I assume HP Cloud uh, is is on that list. Um, what about what about people who haven't actively supported OpenStack, like um, AWS, for instance? Is that is that possible to burst to them as well? That's that's a good question. We have actually already uh, a few service providers we support. So we, besides our own HP Cloud Services, which is actually an OpenStack-based technology, there we learned actually a lot how to build this gen more generic connector. Uh, we support also Amazon, which is based on a different technology, the Easy Easy Two inter integration, and we support also a service provider called Service. And each of them was really a different implementation, which will not scale, right? So we you want a standard in that environment so the work we did with cloud service from OpenStack perspective we generalized it and said how can we create a generic OpenStack connector other service providers can talk to because we think OpenStack has really the goal of being the open standard in the cloud space so that we want to push it also in that uh, environment.